my body is a completely different colour from my face because I fake tan. <laughs> and I haven't washed it off. And it looks so obvious on my camera. Oh no, I've gone red. I'm dirty oh. old neck. <laughs>「Welcome back to my channel and I'm sorry if you can hear a fan in the background but it is so hot today I can't not have it you might have to just deal with a hum in the background today I thought we would do a little challenge it's a bit of an old challenge but it's just things I've wanted to try so why not we're gonna be listening to a makeup video and attempting it without really seeing what was going on so I'm gonna call my dad he's gonna look up a makeup tutorial I've told him not to make it easy and to look up something that's a bit more tricky you know maybe something colorful or maybe I don't know I don't know what he's gonna pick but I don't want it to be like a basic look and he's gonna pause it when I need it so I can catch up so I'm not gonna see the screen at all and we'll see how it turns out basically okay Okay, so let me call my dad and we'll get started. Oh, you know you're gonna have all the stuff? Well, I have the James Charles eyeshadow palette in it. It has like pretty much every colour. But that's the thing, I just gotta make do with what I got and try and recreate it as best I can. I'll do the same so am I what I search in like face makeup? <laughs> I don't want it to be like a simple everyday makeup look. I don't know, something interesting. There's one with some wacky eyebrows. You're same not same supposed eyebrows. to tell me. They all might blend together and... No, you're not supposed to tell me! You ruined it! Now you have to find another one! <laughs> I was thinking, oh, it's probably going to have like a gap and it's just going to be like two lines. But it's for me to guess and interpret what she's describing. You can't just then straight up tell me. It's just a gap in my... <laughs> you need to find another video now, because now I know what to do. No, I'm not supposed to know. I'm, not supposed to... I'm just supposed to... Listen to what she said yeah, and you... guess how she describes it. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. Oh, we no. are doing um, a bomb look today. I just builded my brows with some um, big brow from Anastasia and here I'm just putting on my concealer. They All right, well, brows and then concealer, she said. Right? I don't like doing my eyebrows before my foundation. I think it just looks rubbish when I do it like that. Oh, I went a bit heavy. Eyebrows are on, and then she's like concealer. I don't know if that's under the brows or under the eyes, but I'll just I'll do both, I guess. My eye looks like I was nervous I'm getting into my face routine, so I use the skin blur. Um, All right, you can pause it now. Versali, oh shoot! Serum. I love I've already done something wrong then, because now she's putting on her primer, which would go on before. It's fine. I don't understand who does this before primer. That's so bizarre. Because it just blurs my pores really nice. Blends them in. Full coverage face. So I can eat again. Well, maybe it's foundation. Um, you know, just highlight, contour, <coughs> and then add in my foundation, um, like in those areas between the contour and the concealer, basically. So, yeah, if you want to really end Okay, I'm confused. So I don't know if she's priming or put foundation on, but she said she's doing contour and highlight and then putting the foundation on in between the areas. I guess I'll do that then. Oh, it's gonna look so bad contouring and then putting foundation over. Uh, this isn't right. <laughs> This is not right. She could not be doing this at all. But this is what it sounded like she was doing. I haven't listened to her spa if she does say where she contoured, but I assume it will be in the same places. Blend it out. Oh my god, it looks so crazy. Then highlight, I guess. And then puts foundation in between, but I don't see how that's gonna fix it. I'll take that in between, right? In between. I think I'm doing this wrong. I'm still learning, but I really like this technique to be honest. So, so yeah, yeah, just. I think I've done it wrong, but hey hey. I think she put it all on first and then blended it out, whereas I... I don't know. 
the seat. <laughs> Either way, it's the base. I can't. It won't look that much different. I don't think. After that's all pressed into my liking, I'm just using just a powder, baking much today or anything like that. Okay. Um, I'm just. So she's pressing it. She's pressing it. <laughs> I mean, she's using a sponge. Oh my god, that was way too much. I just dumped half my powder onto the palette. So I can press that into my face. So I think that was too much. Oh, like she said. She said she's not baking, but pressing it in. But this isn't the best sponge, so I'm gonna blend it out. I guess that's not really pressing it in though, is it? Yeah, but this is too much. I need to dust a bit, <clears throat> and then I'll press it in. And we're gonna get into these eyes, okay? I'm using my eyeshadow base from P. Louise, of course. This is in the shade number three. I used the lighter base because I'm using I've blue got today. Face on, so. and blue and purples. Where are you going? I need you. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. This looks suggestive. Powder's going everywhere. Blue. Is she putting it on right now? Like, oh god, she hasn't even described where she's putting it. So I just have to guess. Great, okay. I'm going to guess she's done a blue on her lid. <laughs> oh, she hasn't even said where it is. If it's in the crease or in the outer corner. I swear to god if she mentions it later. I'm not gonna be happy. <laughs> I've got a bit carried away. Now maybe she puts purple in the crease? Oh, she didn't tell me. I'm gonna take a dark purple because she didn't say otherwise, please. Or maybe we should listen a bit more, shall I? I've decided I should probably listen a bit more. Picture, I kind of want it to be different. Just pressing in those deep colors first, and then I used a lighter blue, and then I used like a pink shade to blend out the purple. Um, oh, but yeah, God. you want to blend those out towards your brow bone. I'm using like um, the deeper colors and using the light pink to think. So, mm. uh -uh. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm doing. <laughs> so deeper shades there. So I did go with a deep purple, so that's good. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna start doing it as a cut crease instead, I think. Maybe that's what she's doing. This is a bloodbath. But then she says she takes it to the brow, but uses a pink somewhere. I don't get it. And now I'm gonna take a pink and blend out the purple. That's my guess, I don't know. Oh god, I should have tried harder. I should have tried a lot harder. And I'm cutting my crease with the Vaseline. Like, oh, oh. This the skin color difference. I won't be this orange forever. I just haven't washed the tan off yet, and my foundation is too pale. It's theirs, and this is what they did, and it really helped me a lot. So try that trick. No! Oh. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. I don't even know if I'm anywhere near what she's doing. I'll just do the other eye now. <laughs> is to do the halo eye in the center. I'm taking the deepest shades on the outer portion and then blending the lighter shades towards the center. Okay. And then the center will be white. Use the white shimmer shade from the masquerade pack. Okay, white shimmer in the middle. I'll start with that. And then I assume it's going to be like purple and blues blending into like a pink or something like that. But she hasn't actually said the colors yet, so I don't know if it is the same colors. I've never seen anyone do a halo eye and a cut crease. Ellie. And I just packed that in the center after I got done blending all these shades out. Then I took some silver pigment. This she didn't blue. mention another color, so I assume it's the same colors I've used. Um, I don't know what order she's done it in though. I'll do it as the opposite, I suppose. This is how I know I've done it wrong, because it doesn't make sense, but hey ho. <laughs> it's in the shade Glisten, and I just added that right on the center for a little pop. Now I'm adding some of that liner. I wonder if hers is like subtle. Because <laughs> mine's not subtle at all. 
I assume the glitter can't be very intense if she's not using anything to stick it down with. Uh, yeah, that's not staying at all. Then I took some silver oh. paper. I assume she's doing a winged liner. That wing didn't turn out very well. That one's okay. I'm ready for the next step. And then I'm using my lashes, of course, honey. Okay, my lashes are on, but she didn't put mascara on, so I didn't either. And you can see my real lashes underneath, but hey. I'm just gonna add my mascara. This is for Beauty Bakery, oh, guys. That ruins the lashes. She didn't put bronzer on or anything. We're finishing the look up, um, adding those same shades that we did on top on the bottom. We're gonna have to skip the lower lash part because I don't have false lashes to stick on the bottom. But we'll do the colours and add some mascara. I don't know where she puts it, so I'll just assume pink on the inner. And blue. Because she doesn't say what colours where, she just says the same colours on the bottom. So that's my guess. Deep contour kit from Anastasia as liner. Oh, a lip and liner. This is the Nude, because she says contour, which is like a brown. And this is the B Simone Beauty Gloss. I don't know what color it is. <laughs> and then this one. I'm just adding. Highlight me in a corner and Fenty highlight as highlight. Um, I did add blush and all that as well. She didn't put bronze on. So this is what I got <laughs> from what she described. She was kind of vague with her instructions. Like she was just saying, I blend the purple and pink together and the blues, but not really specifying where on the eye she was putting it. So it was kind of challenging, right? Turn it round. No way! I actually got it pretty close. I don't remember her saying about the white liner. I remember her saying liner, but I assumed it was just a black wing. Her uh, makeup also looks better. Yeah. That's it. Thanks. I didn't get it exactly like the photo, but I'm still really proud of it, and it does. Okay, on the camera, it doesn't look that great, but in real life, I'm actually pretty proud of it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little fun challenge. If you want to see more from me, follow me on Instagram, hit subscribe, and like the video if you liked the video. I'm now going to take all this off and go to bed because I am tired. <laughs> A shout out to my dad for helping me with this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!